Hi, I'm Sarah Mitroff with Sina, and today I'm going to tell you how to get the most out of the new If This Then That app for Android. If This Then That, which goes by IFT, helps you set up automatic cause and effect commands using online tools, social networks, and more. Basically, if this happens, then do that other thing for me. My favorite example is if I get a new email with an attachment, then send that attachment to Dropbox. Ift is now available for Android, and the app includes a bunch of new features that are specifically aimed at automating your phone. I'm going to walk you through three Ift recipes for your Android phone using those new features. First, I'll use Ift to mute my phone when I arrive at the office. So I'm going to open the app, tap the plus sign to create a new recipe, and I'll set my trigger by pressing that plus sign. Scroll all the way over to the Android location choice and select you enter a new area. Then the little map will populate with my location. I can tap to unlock it to move it around and center on the scene at offices, zoom out a little bit if I want, then hit next. Now I'm going to select my action for this recipe by tapping the red plus, scrolling all the way over to the Android device tab and hit mute ringtone. And now my recipe is set. All I have to do is hit finish and I'm done. Now every time I get to the office, no one has to hear my annoying ringtones. Next, I'm going to set up a recipe that sends a text message response every time I miss a call from any phone number. So I'm going to create a new recipe, choose Android phone call, and then do any phone call missed. Now, go over to text messages and put send an SMS. And in the phone number area, I'm not going to enter a specific phone number, but I'm going to hit that plus sign to select an ingredient and do from number. That means any number that's called me is the from number in this recipe. Hit continue, hit finish. So if I want to set the message that's being sent to someone who missed a call, I go to the recipe and hit edit, and I can change this field to say, sorry, I missed your call. And I'm all done. So now when I get a phone call and I miss it, the person who called me will get a response letting them know that I'm sorry I missed their call. The final recipe I'll show you is every time I post a new photo to Instagram, set that photo as my Android wallpaper. For this, I'm going to create a new recipe, but head over to the Instagram channel first. Select any new photo by you, and then go all the way over to the Android device area hit update wallpaper. So now every time that I post a new photo to my Instagram account, it'll update my background on my phone with that wallpaper. These are really just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with IFT on your Android device. Check out CNET.com for more ideas, including how to use it with smart gadgets in your home. I'm Sarah Mitroff for CNET, and as always, thanks for watching.